Good morning guys, it's Miss Janice and we are going to do another Sunday School week. So today we have the story of Balaam. So I wondered, have you ever heard an animal talk? So sometimes we have birds that can say things, they might be taught to say, you know, specific things to your family with your name in it, hello Joe or something like that. And sometimes they just say things that are for everybody like, how are you and things like that. But in this story, there's a donkey that talks. And that's something I've never heard of. There was a, a show back in the 1960s, I think it was, called Mr. Ed. And that horse would talk. It was a black and white show from a long time ago. Your parents might not even know about it. But anyway, so that's the only horse or donkey I've ever heard that's talked. But other than that, we have a donkey in this story that talks. So we're going to go ahead and use our felt board and put our story together and see what we can do. So picture that this is a desert. I don't have a desert, so we have a bunch of green land, but this story takes place in the desert, okay? So this is the story of Balaam, and it is from Numbers, which is an Old Testament book. So it's Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, all right? The Israelites, arriving in the lowlands of Moab, set up their tents. Here's their tents. There we go. Along the Jordan River, Balak, the king of Moab, had heard how the Israelites were marching through the country, conquering the land. When he heard of their arrival, he was terrified. So he sent messengers to a man named Balaam. Balaam had once been a good man who had loved and obeyed God. One day, however, he began to love money more than God. The messengers found Balaam and delivered this message from Balak. The Israelites are threatening to take over the lands. I want you to come and put a curse on them so that we can drive them away. The messengers had plenty of money to pay for Balaam's services. Balaam listened to the king's messengers. He wanted the money and the gifts. Stay here overnight, Balaam said, and I'll give you my answer in the morning. God told Balaam not to curse the Israelites, for he had blessed them. The next morning, Balaam told the men, Go on home. God won't let me go with you. When the messengers returned without Balaam, the king was very upset. This time he sent a larger number of even more important men. See all these men? Look at them. They sure do look important, don't they? They came to Balaam and said, King Balak pleads with you to come. He promises you great honors plus any payment you ask. Name your own price. Again, Balaam asked God if he could go. This time God said, you may go, but be sure to say only what I tell you to. All right, so then the messengers went back home. So the next morning, Balaam saddled his donkey and started off to see the king. Now we're going to pretend he's gone on for a while, so he's gone past where all these tents are, okay? While he was riding along, his donkey did some strange things. First she went off the road into a field. Balaam became angry and he beat her with a stick, but he could not see what the donkey could see. The angel of the Lord stood barring the road ahead. As the angel moved, the donkey moved forward again. Then the angel stopped and the donkey pressed against the side of the road to get out of the way, crushing Balaam's foot against the stone wall. He was furious and beat the donkey again. They continued on their way, but the angel moved to an even narrower stretch of the road, blocking it completely. The donkey could see the angel standing in their way, and the angel had a sword in his hand. Look at that, a fiery sword. Frightened and bewildered, the donkey just gave up and lay down in the road. And for a third time, Balak beat the donkey. Suddenly, Balaam heard someone speaking to him. It was God talking through the donkey. The donkey said to Balaam, what have I done to make you hit me? Then God opened Balaam's eyes in a special way so that he could see the angel. The angel told him that the donkey actually had saved his life. Balaam bowed his head. Then he asked, shall I go back home? 
The angel told him to go on, but he would only be able to speak the words God would give him to say. Balaam went, and three times he tried to curse God's people, but he could only bless them. The king was very angry and told Balaam there would be no money for him. Sometimes we are like Balaam. We want things that God knows is not for our good. Let's let God decide what is best. So this story is kind of funny to me because not only did he have his donkey who had crushed his foot and things like that, but he actually saw the angel and he still tried to talk bad about God. So I guess Balaam was kind of hard-headed. But why do they always put people in the story, Balak and Balaam? It's always confusing to me when the names are really similar. But Balaam really didn't learn his lesson until the very, very end. And even then, I don't know that he learned it because God didn't reward him. So we need to remember that when we're told things, whether it's by God and we know that things should be done or by our parents and they tell us to do something, whether it's our homework or whatever else it is that we need to do, clean the room or something like that, it's best just to do it because they're not trying to be mean. Now, Balaam was kind of mean when he beat his donkey because we never treat animals like that. We know that they're our friends and that they're things that God gives us for us to take care of them. So that was a bad example too. So he wasn't one of our heroes in the Bible, but he did have a pretty odd story with a talking donkey. There's no other story in the Bible that has a talking donkey. So I thought I'd share this one with you today. So hopefully you've enjoyed it and I hope that you have a good week. And if you hear any talking donkeys, let me know because that's so bizarre I'd want to know about it. So have a good week and I will see you soon.